God will avenge you. And you may say, Kevin, what are you talking about? Let me tell you a story. I was staying with someone a while back. Some years back. <clears throat> and that person was not really treating me very well. That person did some good things for me but that person was not doing all the way right maybe within a week or two of staying with that person years back somehow that person fell fell back on his leg backwards or did something to where he fell and messed his leg up real bad. And I think his leg was messed up for years. And I think that person had to get surgery for it, if I am not mistaken. But anyways... This person's leg was so messed up to where, which was kind of funny, you know, at first that person was rude to me, but when that person hurt their leg, that person was asking me for help. Help driving that person to over here and over there, push that person in a wheelchair. So after a while, I guess when that person could walk around with a limp, I believe, but I guess I can say gained some strength in their leg. Guess what? That person went back <laughs> to being rude again. Okay. So some things happened and I had to leave. If I am not mistaken, I, t I told that person, if you need help, you can call me I know about you reap whatever you sow I believe the Bible says to bless our enemies anyways maybe a month no 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 a week or two after I left maybe three weeks I don't know that person called me called me to buy something at the store for them. That person. I bought it. And when I arrived to that person's apartment, that person was so sick. My Lord so sick to where that person wanted me to I believe it was chicken soup or something like that that person wanted me to open up the cans and heat the food up for that person and I did it and I believe I set the bowl of food because I believe that person, yeah, I believe I set the bowl next to that person. God will avenge you. 
And what really shocked me, maybe a month after that, that person called me apologizing. Not only one time, but I believe that person throughout the weeks or days, whatever, kept on apologizing to me. Hmm. Kept on apologizing to me. Hmm, what's going on with me? <laughs> Anyways. Hmm, that's strange. Yeah, but anyways, another thing happened. Let me see. I, I believe I lost my train of thought. Uh, anyways, what I am trying to tell you. But let me say this too, um, during the time of the mistreatment, I was praying so much for that person to stop, for that person to stop doing what that person was doing. I was praying so much. Anyways, you don't have to fight back with a person. You don't have to do evil back to that person. Even though it may be very difficult to keep your peace with someone that is treating you not so well, it may be very hard to keep your peace. It may be very hard, but you have to keep your peace and do right towards that person. Not saying that, you know, I would argue back in the beginning. I would, you know, go back and forth with that person arguing back, you know, and then I learned that that is not going to work with that person. So I stopped. And it was extremely hard living with that person, extremely hard. But I didn't have too many options back then. But because of what that person did, now I am in a better place. Around that time, something happened to where I moved in with that person and that person wanted me to leave after a certain period of time. And because of that, I am in a better place. A better place. So much better. God will avenge you. Now, I could see it, and I believe those things was happening, probably one of the reasons, because how that person was treating me. But I was living there, and I saw, I could see those two things that happened to him shortly after, shortly while I was living with that person. I saw those bad things happening to him. And I am telling you, the Bible is so true. You will reap what you sow. There is an issue that someone is going through right now. And 
it seems like <clears throat> it is a repeat issue with a person. And I called that person or that person called me. And I told that person. Don't be bitter against that person. Don't hate that person. Don't plan to do evil toward that person because of what that person is doing to you. Continue doing what is right. Pray. And I truly believe God is going to avenge you because I believe God can see what that person is constantly doing to you. You are trying to mind your own business and this person, like, as it seems, tries to find a reason to mess with you. God sees it. So continue doing what is right and God can get to that person better than you can. God will avenge you. But don't fall for the trap to where you want to get even with that person. There is no more eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. That is Old Testament. The Bible says we have to love our enemies, that we have to, uh, in so many words, be good to them. Even though they may continue coming to us with mess, God will avenge you. Now, I could see some things that was happening to that person while I was living with that person. I could see some things. And to a point I was shocked. Or maybe I was fully shocked. You don't have to get even. I believe God will get even for you. It may take a while. It may take longer than a week or two. It may take a year. It may take six months or so. I don't know. But stay diligent in doing well for your enemies. Doing well as in Be polite to them, even though they are rude. I think some people may go through very hard times and they may take their frustration out on you, like as if you are the one giving them a hard time. No. Stay doing well. Do what is right. You may not be 100% perfect, but strive for perfection. I try to do that, even though I mess up so much. But I strive, I believe I strive for perfection. I believe I try so hard to do what is right. I believe I strive for righteousness. And God usually, as far as I can see, avenges me so much. I believe there is another thing that happened. And maybe it was not because of me, but there was another person that was, I felt like, was mistreating me. And after a period of time, that person... I forget what happened, but that person got really sick or something happened to where they could not walk too good or something like that. Now, that may not have been because of what that person was doing to me. I don't know. But let me say this. It happened around that time when that person was rude to me. 
I believe I can say that. So was it because of me? I don't know. But I believe it was happening around the time when that person was being rude to me. God will avenge you. You don't have to fight back. You don't have to go to witchcraft and curse that person and stuff like that. No, those things, I believe, you will reap what you sow. So I believe the punishment will come back on you. Stay calm. Stay patient. Stay polite. Stay doing well. I believe there is a scripture, and let me see if I can find it. Yes, it is coming to my mind. Don't be weary in well-doing. Yeah, let's go to Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Thank you, God. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So all I have to do is continue to do well for others and I am going to be blessed. I am going to reap. Reap mean what? I will be blessed by doing well for other people, including my enemies. So I hope this makes sense. God will avenge you. God bless you.